Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Firestorm Reviews. Today we will be reviewing the 501st Battle Pack number 2. And before you ask, yes, I have the original 501st Battle Pack, but I don't have the set currently on me right now, So, I'll, but I do have the box on me to compare. So here's the original box, and here's the new box compared. The new box is definitely bigger, man, because it comes with two vehicles and all that stuff. This set... The first so first pack was definitely made for the fans and all that, and just so is this one too, but this one's more designed in the form of normal battle packs and all that. Because it doesn't come with two vehicles, it only comes with one and also no battle droids. So I'm just gonna get this one out of the road here. And there will be a video on the 501st battle pack as well. If we get this video to say 10 video 10 likes and I'll do a review on the original 501st battle pack. Okay, so first we shall look at the box. The box has some really good CGI art on it with the clones as well firing that. You can see one of the man in the turret and all that in the front. And there's a city in the background they seem to be protecting. It says Lego Star Wars there with his number, set number there. And it says Fire First Power Pack, Fire First Clone Trooper Battle Pack right there. And 86 and plus, blah, blah, blah. Lego Star Wars on the top here. And the set comes with a 501st Clone Trooper Specialist, a 501st Officer. A 501st Heavy Trooper 1 and 2, and on the top of the box it says Lego Star Wars again with a set number and a Disney thing in the corner here. A specialist, a picture of the specialist trooper, and also I forgot to show this down the corner here. It says The Clone Wars 20 honey. and sorry about the background noise, it's currently raining outside my house. And here it has some images of the turret and all that, and here we have the clone troopers on the back doing work and all that stuff. The heavy holding gun. One of the heavies reloading the turret right there after it's shot. I, it does come too, but I've lost the other one. Because it's spring right And anyway, so here is the foot. Here and there are the other two clones. So let me just go get the thing and I'll show you it. First, I'll be showing you the actual build. And let me just look, move my camera down a bit because there's an eye for it. Okay, so this build's quite good. Isn't that? It comes with it's. It comes in quite a lot of pieces, but you can easily build it up. It has a little see-through piece at the bottom here for to make it look like it's standing up. Its legs can move, and let's do the posability section. Do 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 do. Posability section. <laughs> nah. Okay, so you can rotate the legs, all the legs like that. So I'm just going to show off one. You can rotate in like that or out like that, and has the fraction joints here. And here you can pose the turret either looking point down or up or straight so you can look like it's shooting enemies out of the sky or shooting at the enemies from a long way or shooting down a turret shooting down a map. and here's one of the spring line missiles let me just load this one in and i shall shoot the box back there if i, if I don't hit that was the rain again causing some stuff in my house to mess around and yeah that thing has quite a hit so, I'll show off the first minifigure now. Oh, it also has a little C3 clone trooper, but I'll say that later. Here we have the clone trooper specialist with his pup, with his blue arms. Okay, I dropped him. He comes with a sniper rifle type weapon, which you, he can hold in his hand. And he has come with some very good Brunacro goggles, I believe that's their name. Let me know if I'm wrong with the comments below. Yeah, they come, he comes with the new helmet, all of them actually do. Where you can put attachments, and that's the hit. That's their face on the bottom. The posability is basically the same as all Lego foods, where you can move the legs back, forward, arms also do the same. Same, and the hands can spin. Yeah, so this here is a really good minifigure, and I love the print. And I also especially love the little detail on the front there of yellow. And the back print is quite good, and the back print is also quite good. Unlike most people, I don't care if my minifigures don't have arm printing or aren't 100% accurate. And here are the two heavy troopers. Oh, one, let me pick it up. And here are the two heavy troopers. We have, the, they're basically the same, so I'm going to put one straight into the back there. And review this one here. They come with like a shotgun type weapon, I'm not sure. I normally use these two pieces to make a shotgun, so yeah, that's what I'm comes a little backpack tile piece. I would have loved this if this black piece was in white, but it can also work as a backpack piece as well and all that. Decent printing on that. Same head on Eve, and I gave these two have the 
option of putting these on it or another attack, so I chose that. And I'm just going to show you the back print without the piece on it. Yeah, and the back print is quite good without the piece on it. These two are great for building up like a special forces or something. Well, this whole pack is anyway. And here we have the clone officer. Yep, drop them. Clone officer. He comes with a pistol and he can put an antenna on his head and all that. Same amount of printing as anyone else. Probably the one the one with the least amount of print, but probably the most on the back though. Yeah, and I say this is a really good set if you want to get it. All that. But may I just say if you are trying it, if you select the first one, it's gonna be hard for you guys. Cause the day this came out here in Australia, I went to buy it and it was sold out. Gone and all that. So I had to come back several times just to try to get a new one and all that, and I did. And I eventually got it. Yeah. And I also have like a little Star Wars Battle Royale that I have this battle scene in that I will show you if you, if you guys want to see it. Well, let me... Well, thank you for listening to my talk about the set, my review on the set. And let me know what you think of it in the comments below and all that. And don't forget to like and subscribe and see you all next time. Bye-bye.